how to remember the gracilis muscle. Let's get to it. So the gracilis muscle is a member of the medial compartment of the thigh, along with the rest of the other hip adductors. It originates off the ischiopubic ramus, as you can see here. It then descends almost vertically and inserts on the tibia. So it's longer than the adductor magnus. It jumps a knee and actually inserts on the tibia. So one way I think about the gracilis is that of all the adductors, it's closest to the grass, the kind that you might be standing on. It's also long and thin like a blade of grass. So instead of gracilis, I think gracilis. And that kind of reminds me what this muscle is all about. Another thing gracilis can help you remember is the insertion point. So the gracilis passes the knee and inserts on the anterior medial side of the tibia at a place called the pes anserine, which is Latin for goose's foot. And what do geese like to eat? So again, it's closer to the grass, which geese love to eat. So this reminds you that the gracilis is the longest adductor and that it inserts on the pes anserine or the goose's foot. As for actions, the gracilis is a hip adductor, which makes sense because it's part of the hip adductor group. But more interestingly, since it passes the knee, it can aid in knee flexion. And this can be important if you're trying to figure out where the gracilis is or if it's injured. So for example, if you ever find yourself in say like a reclined butterfly position like this, I don't know your life. If you happen to be in this position, you'll probably notice a large tendon coming from your pubic bone to your thigh. That's most likely the adductor longus. But what you can do is, if you try to flex your knee against resistance, you'll feel another smaller tendon pop out directly posterior to that bigger one, and that is the gracilis. So again, it's the only adductor that aids in knee flexion, so you can use that knee flexion to try to kind of find it and narrow it down. Another thing you can do if a patient comes to you complaining about groin pain that gets worse with knee flexion, that's probably a gracilis problem, and that can help you isolate what's going on. Let's finish things up by talking about the innervation. Now the gracilis and all the muscles of the medial compartment are supplied by the obturator nerve. And this makes sense if you think about the location of all these things. So the femoral nerve comes over the hip bones to supply the anterior compartment or the quads. Then we have the sciatic nerve goes behind the hip bones posteriorly to supply the posterior compartment and the hamstrings. Now we need a nerve to get to the medial compartment. And really the best straightforward way to do that is to go right through the obturator foramen right to the medial compartment. So this right here is the obturator foramen. Now if you're spacing on the name on a test or something like that, just remember, just think about this big O right here, standing for obturator, for the obturator nerve, and the obturator foramen. All right, I hope some of those tips helped you. Thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.